But this right here is going to be for, they love these sea grapes right here. First, I gotta clean out the old hay. And then, I can start putting the new hay in. Look at it, Lady May. That would be kind of cool. What is going on, Kafiros? Welcome back to another Holy Blinding. Not welcome back to another Holy Blinding, but welcome back to another video. If you're new here, I'm Paul Kafiro, and today's video is in a, it's an update video. Uh, everything that goes on around this house every single day is just crazy. Look at the piglets. Good morning, fellas. It is raining right now, it's drizzling. Yep, it's not a great day to be outside filming. I gotta feed everything out here today. I also need to run to the local feed store to get some sort of med, uh, I called the vet. Remember when I called the vet last video? They gave me the name of this medicine, and it's, it's a weird name. I'll bring it up in just a little bit. Let's feed these guys first. So this is the pig food, that is the waterfowl food, and then that's the chicken food. I don't really open the chicken food because the chickens just do exactly this. Hey, guys, back off. Come on. Get out of there. I usually give my pigs three giant scoops. Just like that. And this is pretty much like their feeding circle right here. As you know, pigs in the wild actually burrow holes and find food in the grass. When you have an amount of pigs like that, six pigs, uh, if you put bowls in a line and try to feed them like nice and neatly, they're gonna flip the bowls, fight over the bowls, like it's, it's you just gotta dump it in the grass and they root like a normal pig. Hey Lady May, got your food. Look at it Lady May, there we are. That needs to stay right there because she has a little spot right here that if she did want to keep a lot of the flies off of her, she could. I spoiled the pigs, yes. So in just a little bit, I'm gonna get new sheddings, clean that bowl out, clean this whole entire enclosure out, because that's a, almost a daily thing that I'm gonna have to do. She has to be inside this for at least 10 days after I give her the first round of medication, and then after that, she has another five to 10 days, depending on how she looks, which I'm sure is gonna be great, and then I can finally introduce her to my pigs physically, like where they could touch each other. This is really just preventing any illness that that pig may have, because as you know, I rescued this pig from someone's house that was going to die if I didn't get it. Within like the next 24 hours, you gotta go watch that video, I'll have it pop up on the top of the screen right here. But that was a crazy video, we rescued that pig right there, and these two ducks right here. This is, uh, that's Aflac. And then that's Geico. So Aflac and Geico. We got those two ducks, and as you know, we previously had these two ducks, and those two ducks, and a swan. And by the way, I see, oh my, it's raining. I see endless comments saying, hey, you're gonna get another black swan. That swan looks lonely. I have been looking like crazy to get another black swan. It is very hard to find them, in my location at least. I saw a couple that were, they were far, and I'd have to ship them, which would cost me another $500 on top of that, and it's like, you know what I mean? So buddy, I'm looking for you. I'm looking for you. Eventually we'll find one. Um, just to let everyone know, I am looking though. I don't want the thing to be alone. But for now at least, look at all the friends it has. It's not alone. All right, buddy, you ready? Come on, open this. Yeet! A turtle was just on that stick right there. And then they all go. Even the swan's going out there. Go, buddy. The swan likes to eat lettuce more than any food I've ever fed it. It loves lettuce. When I feed the tortoises, it's like all over it. Fish are going crazy. Look at their mouths. Isn't that crazy? Everyone's eating. I love it. Even these random things, they always show up every time they wait for the food to get to the bank. I love it. This is literally my early morning. It's about 10 o'clock. That's early for me, by the way, yes. I stay up late. Every morning, I come out here and do the same exact thing. That was a massive fish. Those tilapia are probably getting big. Should I actually try to catch them? Should I try to catch one later on? Look at the blow-ups, ready? Boom, look at that, boom. That would be kinda cool. What do you think, should I do it? Drop a comment down below, let me know. Ducks are all fed, pigs are all fed. Let's see, we're two days in with the filter. Oh yeah, it's got a lot of the stuff off the sides. Still got a little work to do with the, the muck on the inside, but you can see all the fish at least. Check it out. <laughs> Improvements, improvements. Look, they're not even stirring up the water. We can finally see a lot of our fish, literally. That's just with this one filter plugged in, and it's not even going fully, what the heck? I'll figure that out later, but I'm gonna get another one plugged in soon. That's the pool pond, I usually just feed them at tilapia. Tilapia look like that, they're the fish that are in the pond over there. So the plan is today, I am actually going to give you an update on what's going on, because today I have someone coming out to do something over here for us. And I wanna let you guys know what that is. Also, uh, I gotta feed the tortoises and go to the feed store to get some medicine for that pig and clean everything. I gotta clean all the enclosures. We got a busy day and it's 10 o'clock. A little bit of a late start, but 
Let's do it. I know. I just said I was having a late start. You don't need to clarify with me, Larry. I'm not even gonna reply. I'm not even gonna reply. That bird ticks me off sometimes, I'll tell you what. All right, so Spike's got his little morning meal. Now, look at the hibiscus, and Spike ate the whole entire hibiscus tree right there. Bruh. What up, David? How you doing, bud? Got you some lettuce, sticker off, and uh, a nice tomato, too. See you, David. Watch, ready? <laughs> the swan loves lettuce, I don't know why. But every time I feed the tortoises, I give the swan some lettuce. Sometimes the ducks eat some too. I need a haircut. Holy moly, my hair is getting long. Pigs are fed, tortoises are fed, chickens are fed, ducks are fed, swans fed. Time to go to the feed store and uh, get some supplies that we need for today's video. Also, don't forget, big update coming. Um, the guy's coming today. I track supply and I'm actually gonna get this bowl. It's like a rubber. Oh, but it's a heck of a lot easier to pick up when there's water in it. Ivermectin. There it is. That's what we need. Uh, grab one of these. Now inside of this thing of straw, there's a lot more straw than you think. It's a like compound like put together. So so this right here will fill up that whole entire pig enclosure. This is like a week's worth of uh, cleaning. All right, I need some uh, sheddings to go inside the chicken coop and then uh, we're set to go. Well, that vet is very busy. I do have the ivermectin right here, uh, so I'm just gonna set it right there, and uh, when she calls me back this afternoon, I will treat the pig then. Why don't we name our new betta fish right there that is with Luna? Look how close they are. Yeah, they love each other. Look at how clear this tank got. Crystal clear. So one of my last videos, I actually remodeled that tank right here. Here's the video thumbnail, and uh, that video was amazing. Hold y'all to comment if you want to name that other beta fit. There was so many comments on the video. I think there was like there was this many. I'll just pop it up on the screen because I don't even know how many. There was over six thousand. Name her dead because she will be dead with the way you're caring for her. I mean, if you ask me, she looks pretty dang happy. Hey, dead. How you doing? You look pretty dang dead if you ask me. I mean. Doesn't have the most beautiful betta fish tank I think I've ever seen. I mean, come on, that tank is as good as it gets. People just complain over everything. Anyway, today's winner for naming the fish is Stormy Skies. You should name the betta fish Nova. So Nova is the name. As you can see, there's 250 likes on it, which is a lot of likes. And I've had this fish right here for like two and a half years, uh, through almost three years. That I've had that thing for a long time. Let's go. Uh clean some pig cages before this rain comes because it is about to rain. This right here is the first time I think I've ever just done like yard work, like a day in my life on this channel. I typically just leave a lot of this stuff out that I'm filming right now. But this is a, this is an everyday thing. Buying straw, feeding the animals, avoiding pigs from getting out. No, Bubba. I can feel the cold breeze. If you live in a state that rains a lot, you know what the cold breeze means. That's not food, it's just straw. It's not food. All right, I can't put the camera on the ground because the pigs will mess with it. They'll nudge it over and knock it over while the time lapse is going on. But I'm gonna open this bag of straw and just lay it all throughout here. First, I gotta clean out the old hay and then I can start putting the new hay in. So this is the pig's mud pit. They created this themselves. It's a giant hole right there, especially. My brother's actually turning the water on right now. There it is. Clean water, filling up. That'll go to the top, and then I'll do the same for this one, and then I'll fill up this hole a little bit. But with this weather, I don't think we're gonna fill up the mud hole today. The pigs typically only want the mud hole when it's really hot out, because that's what they cool their, their body off with. They'll dip in that mud, get that coat of mud on them, which keeps them cool when the sun is out. So right now, no point in the mud pit. I'm gonna fill these up with fresh water real quick, and those ones over there. And then I'll explain what's going on over there, because that's big. All right, Lady May, 
good. Now that that whole side of the yard is done, here is when I tell you what the next plans are for this backyard. A lot of people are saying, when are you get in a barn? I was planning on getting a barn months ago, way back. I even looked at the little tiny tough sheds at Home Depot. I just have not got to anything like that yet because the animals I have here don't need that right now. They have their spots they sleep. They're like wild hogs at some point because they love sleeping in literally just random areas. You can see all the holes that they sleep in. Like they make their own little dens and stuff. So the, and there's always a house, there's a house over there. They don't really need like a shed yet. Anyway, I'll tell you this, the barn is coming soon. What I really want to tell you guys about is what animals we're getting next. And that is goats. We're going to get goats very soon. This section right here, I'm leaving that and I'll show you how I'm going to do it. Let me just... <laughs> From this post right here, I'm adding the same fence, post and wire. From right there, all the way across, and boom, right here. So it's from there, straight this way to right here, and then straight to that post right there. So it's like a little cube. You know what I'm saying? It's a pretty big cube, but it's, it's a cube. That is where... Helicopter. Just one sec. While we're waiting and the helicopter's flying over us, you can actually just drop a like and subscribe. There he is. It's a wild Larry. Oh, you got the whole squad in here. Oh, wow. Hey, hey, everyone. What's up? But this right here is going to be for goats, and the goats are right over there. Hopefully, I get these ones. If not, I can always get other ones, but they're right over there. Just taking a nice jog down my street, you know? I'm sure the audio is garbage. I just want to show you the goats. What up, buddy? These goats. I don't know if you guys have seen these ones before. I think I've filmed them once before, but... These are my neighbor's goats and they're huge and you're gonna eat all the grass, aren't you? And then there's another one over there. They love these sea grapes right here. Look, now she gets up. <laughs> they love them. Oh, you dropped it. But these two goats, hopefully these two. If not, I'm sorry for the wind, but if not, there's always more goats to get, but these uh, are the ones we're looking at now. All right, my cardio is bad. Let's run back. That is all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching the video. It was an interesting one. And by the way, that enclosure over there, the goat one, is not the only enclosure that's being uh, done when they come and do it. I'm just leaving the other two that are being made as a surprise. So make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Click the bell so you're notified when I do upload. Man, it's about a storm heavy. And it still hasn't rained, by the way, which is very surprising. But I'm telling you, you don't want to miss out. We have so much crazy stuff going on. One enclosure is being made over there. Another one's going to be made. Another one's going to be made. Subscribe, I promise. It's worth it. And every time I upload, you will be notified if you click that bell. It's right down below. I love each and every one of you so much. Thank you so much for watching. My hair is crazy. Today's positive comment shout out goes out to Noah Davies. Love your videos so much you make me smile every day and every other day. All the way from Wales, UK. If you want to win a positive comment shout out and have your comment on the screen in one of these upcoming videos, all you got to do is make sure you comment down below something positive. Because that's where we're all about on this channel. Check out the PC merch. It is 10% off right now. Bang. And uh, on the back, let me set up my camera. Camera's a bit harder than I thought to set up, let me tell you. And on the back, work hard, stay strong, baby. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in that next video. Peace. Look at the size comparison. That is Larry, and that is, I don't know, that's a smaller chicken.